Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, hopefully you've been watching some of the recent videos that I've put out. The last video that I posted, um, I think it was, ye yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, I got some good feedback from that um, privately via email and via text from, from coaches that uh, I work with and coaches that I've talked to. And uh, if you missed that video, you can just click back on videos, <clears throat> go watch that. I think that will help you. It's, it's about why you shouldn't hold on to anything from the past and how it's going to ruin your business and ruin your life. Um, now, today's video, this, man, th this, is, this is something I tell a lot of people. Um, most, most coaches that I tell don't like to hear this, but it's the truth, all right? And daily coaches will get on a zoom call with me and be like, Hey, you know, the clients that I'm working with are really hard to work with. Like they're flaky. They're not dependable. They never pay me on time. Um, you know, they show up super late. They're just not good clients to work with. And, you know, if you're dealing with that, pay close attention. I have been in your shoes. I have had clients in the past that don't respect my time. They didn't respect me. Um, they never paid me on time. They, uh, there, there's still one example of, uh, I was charging $25 an hour and a lady gave me $21 in ones. <laughs> I still think that's one of the funniest things that, that, that's happened to me. 21 bucks in ones. Right? Who has twenty one dollars in ones? <laughs> she did, and she didn't have those four extra dollars. And I was like, "Oh, that's okay." Right? And that that was my fault. Right? So I've dealt with people like this. And here's the thing: when I was dealing with people like this in my business, it's because I was that way. I wasn't that committed to my business. I didn't have high expectations. Um, if my client saw me, they're probably like, oh, I mean, we can pay this guy whatever we want. Like, I wasn't showing up on to, to my sessions the way I do now. The My sessions back then weren't super professional. Um, I was a completely different person. And like... That's just the facts. I, I am not the same person now that I was when I started my business. I am a completely different human being. I have changed a lot, right? And when coaches ask me, they'll be like, yeah, like my clients suck. Like they're straight up what, what, this, what, they'll, what they'll tell me. My clients suck. They're hard to deal with. And I'll say, cool, man. Like, well, what do, what do you need to change about yourself? So we start attracting the right type of clients that mirror you, right? Now, if your clients suck right now, I can assure you, like you don't want me to, you, I know you don't want me to say this, but it's the truth. If your clients suck, you suck as a business owner. You suck as a person. A sucky person will attract sucky, a sucky business owner will attract sucky clients, right? And think about it like it's the it's the same way in the real world like if you suck as a human being like you're gonna draw in a sucky girlfriend or a sucky wife <laughs> like you're gonna attract in sucky situations all right that's gonna be the last time i'd say that word <laughs> right but you get the point like and when you change you attract someone better right it's, i think that's dating 101 all right you if you want to attract the right person, you have to change who you are. And with the business, if you want to attract the right customer, you need to change who you are. And this is why like, I, I think it's awesome. The coaches that I work with, when they start changing who they are as a person, their client, it, it's weird how it, works. it just magically works every time. The clients that they start to attract are the ideal clients that are committed, that don't complain about Paying. They don't show up with 21 $1 bills. Uh, they're always on time. They're super committed. They're giving them uh, new clients. Like it's, it's like when you work with people like that, your business is so much easier 
But a lot of coaches that get on a call with me, they if they're not un, if they're not willing to change as a person, then they're going to keep attracting the worst clients in the world, right? And that that's just the way it is. And this is why even like for me, like the way I operate my business, I have application process for everything, right? I treat my business like a country club, all right? That means you got to apply. That means you got to talk to me. I'm the gatekeeper. I open the gate or I shut it. I don't let every, every person in that talks to me become a customer because I know at the end of the day, if someone can't meet my expectations, right? If they can't meet my expectations that I have, how in the world am I going to be able to successfully work with them over the, that next year? Like, how big of a nightmare is that going to be for me as the business owner? Like, bring someone into my ecosystem. If I have these super high expectations, if they can't meet those expectations, that's on me, right? This is why I always tell coaches that I work with, if you have a bad client, that is not on them. Like, they are the way that they are. They, are, they were at some point attracted to you and your business and you attract people who are like-minded. That is the facts, right? And I know I'm like repeating myself a lot here, but the thing is, if, if you have bad clients that are not committed, if you don't change, they're not gonna change. And whoever, like, however you build your business coming up, you're gonna keep getting terrible clients that join your business. And guess what? This industry, as far as coaching and training, like there's a lot of bad clients out there, right? You know what that means? There's a lot of bad coaches out there that haven't straightened up their lives, <laughs> right? Uh, and there's a lot of great clients out there, but it's gonna be hard to find those until you make changes, all right? So let me tell you like three I'll try to actually, I'll give you more than three. I'm just going to go until I run out of ideas here. I'm going to give you some simple things that you can change that help you attract these types of people. All right. Number one, having expectations for yourself as a business owner, right? That has nothing to do with your clients. This is for yourself. What are the expectations that I am going to hold for myself? That's number one, having expectations for your clients. Uh, next one is having an application process, like make it harder for people to join your program, charge more money. When, when people pay more money, they take you more seriously, <laughs> right? Uh, have processes in place when your clients show up, what time do they need to show up? Why do they need to show up early? Why do their parents need to be there on time when they pick up their kid, uh, when the session's over? What do kids do when they're not with you? Like, how do you keep kids accountable when, when you don't see them during the week? What is set up when, you know, when there's a rain outside? I mean, there's so many little details that coaches skip. And when you become more detailed in your business, you attract a client who's more detailed that gets it. Like, they're not going to question you. Oh, like, we have to pay every 30 day or every 28 days online. Like, I don't want to do that. Like when you attract the right customer, right? It, they're never going to question how you run your business. They're just going to be like, all right, cool. Let's go. <laughs> hey, for, for example, uh, there's a coach I worked with last year, right? He wanted to work and get more like one-on-one -on -one help with me, right? And the program that I offered him was 18,000 bucks, right? It's a lot of money. Most coaches, if they heard 18 grand, they'd be like, oh, there's no way I'd pay that. I saw something within his business that I knew I could help with. And, you know, uh, his business that year, he made 350 grand. So pretty good investment for him. Like I would, I would make that investment every single day if I knew that my business would grow that much, right? Um, so that worked for him, right? Now, the reason why that worked for him, though, is, and that worked for me, it's because when we went into that conversation, my expectations were up here. His expectations were up here. Those are perfectly aligned. See how that works? If my expectations are down here and his expectations are up here, like, do you think I would be able to charge that much? Absolutely not, 
right? Do you think he would want to work with me if my expectations were down here? And he like wants this, and I'm like, oh, we're going to do this. No. Now, if my expectations are up here and his expectations are down here, how in the world is he going to want to invest that much money into what I'm doing, right? And how in the world am I going to be able to help him achieve what he wants to do if he is not meeting my expectations that are sky high, right? So see how that works. It's very simple. Like when you take a step back, it's very simple to, to think, well, if I have bad clients, it's on me. And if I don't change, then man, this is going to be the end of my business, right? So if that doesn't wake you up, then I, I don't know what to tell you, right? But when you change, you attract those that you want to work with. And this has been the, I, I would think probably the biggest lesson I've learned since I've had a business is like when I take things more serious, when I make things more professional, when I become more detailed, the clients that work with me are that way too. And it's like so much more fun working with someone who's like that. You run into way less problems because both of you are on the same page. And this is why like, there are many coaches that I work with at this point. And go watch the testimonials page on buildmysportsbiz.com. If you click on application, you'll see there's like 14 videos right there. Um, there's also 100 case studies on Instagram that I have. You'll see like some of those coaches have less than 30 or 40 clients they're running six figure businesses right now they have clients who are deadly committed and you know why it's because they changed the, the coaches they change their personal expectations of their business and they change who they are so now when they draw on the right type of client that client is not freaking out about the investment they're not showing up four hours late to a session <laughs> right they're the right type of client so this, is, this comes down to you, right? It has nothing to do with your client, right? Your client is going to ultimately be whoever you are, right? And that's the easiest way to break it down. If you suck as a person, your clients are going to suck. If you're awesome, your clients are going to be awesome. If you're organized, your clients are going to be organized. If you're super disorganized, super late, you got like Wendy's French fries in your backseat, well, are you going to want clients who are that way? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. All right. So I hope this helps. Um, I, I, I see this every single day when I talk to coaches. Most coaches I talk to that aren't clients of mine will tell me about why their clients are uncommitted. And I'll always be like, okay, mm -hmm. well, what do you need to change about yourself? All right. Most people don't like that when I say that. That's the facts, though. When you, when you change who you are, your business will change. Your clients will change. You have way more fun um, and you make way more money, right? And, and hopefully that your ears went up when I said that. Like you might have been sleeping this whole time. Like you'll make way more money when you change as a person, <laughs> right? So I hope that helps and uh, pretty simple stuff. If you have bad clients, go look in the mirror after this video and ask yourself, what do I need to change about myself? All right, that's it. See you later.